uh, comes at a price. So here the purpose is to help the, the owner to really see if he can do it himself to save money. But if he, if he, if he was willing to pay, then we'll do it. And um, so the first thing is, <coughs> I pointed out that these screws that he has in here, it's not doing anything. See that? See how loose they are? So that has to be removed. Hey, how you doing? I'm uh, Glenn's younger brother, Hendrick. Hello, Hendrick. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Are you the owner? Uh, part owner, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, let me show you. So, I, I, I explained to Glenn, yeah. this is loose. This is not holding. Yeah. Okay, so let me do this one for you. All right. Move that. Right, that's why you want to remove things and then uh, because the rest of the roof is fine but this is going to destroy then you have to replace sections or whatever you know where they went in also but you see how it's rusted yeah i would uh, i would clean up I don't like that when uh, when it's uh, painted over ru and there's rust underneath, you know? See what we can do here. I don't like this, but anyway, they put it there. Somewhere there. Somewhere there. At least it's tight now. Okay. There's quite a bit of rain coming this afternoon. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering about the drying time. No, uh, I don't. It's not no. my building. I don't care. No. <laughs> it's Henrik's building, so who cares about this? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. But I would like to see you sand that off as well. You see that? Do they shine? Yeah, you don't want shine? to leave that. No, there's a there's a little bit of paint. No. You have to paint this at some point, even if it's a year. Even, but you can paint it right after done, or you can um, wait a few months, whatever. But you can still do silver coat if you're okay. You can do it with silver coating, but if you're gonna paint it with a we'll just go right to blue. with a blue, I don't know what type of paint that is. If it's an oil base, it would be better. Any protection, okay. okay? So you want to protect it against ultraviolet because it will not last more than 10 years or eight years this way. Okay. You want to last a long time. See? Yeah. The silver is in the bottom. So it takes a time to, to, to get this mixed up. Yeah. And the asphalt is the bonding agent. And the silver coating is the, the the aluminum is the reflector, the protector. People don't realize how much you have to stir this. You you should be okay like this. But it's done right. You don't want to monkey around with the screws. Then didn't, didn't. Another problem is the built up of tar. Yeah. And whatever. Let's need a oh, big problem. <laughs> Too much. This way. Yeah. This blocked the water at the bottom and water was pushing back right yeah. that part is not bad so they added this this is right. so there's that okay so let me see what we do here you have to make decisions on the go so i'm looking at what i what should be done so I give you the best shot, what you think, if I think you want to do it, you know, to give you what you should do. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so there's, there's water underneath. So, 
when when snow when it snows snows builds up and there's an insulator there's no ice underneath the snow when it when the snow comes down here when water melts on this roof and comes down here mm. it starts freezing here and this is a freezing zone right here it builds up like five six inches and then water pulls behind that ice and it pushes it and this is causing the leak so what you want to do is cover this so it cannot even if it freezes here's what i would do something like this you see there's a hole right there at the top so i don't know you may have to use two fleeces here all right here we go so you see let me fix this you want at least an inch and a half on top of this okay. so it doesn't have to go all the way to the edge I would do it somewhere there all right I mean you really have to be meticulous so there's this we got this I'm just helping you to preserve this building and the metal roof this roof is preservable if you just be very meticulous about this um, I'm talking and I'm, you know, we're not, but this is, is, a, is a huge job. You're not into to just go and do quick because you have to undo what everybody did and then. But it should last you indefinitely if you, if you paint it. If, if there's no paint on it, it will last 10 years. It's not something I come and tar quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anybody can put tar on. It lasts for about six months. Yeah. You got right. Yep. <laughs> That's exactly right, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot do that. It's never going to work. Um, but this is what's going to save the roof. We went over the rust. So when you have a spot like that, a little rust, just, rust, ju yeah. just, remove yeah, just remove it a little bit, like. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, that, that's right. nothing. Yeah. That's nothing. Yeah. You do the silver coating and you can paint over this if you want to. Or you can just paint directly over it if you... If okay. A huge problem on commercial roofs and storefront buildings, like in this case, is stucco. They have the stucco that is guaranteed to, to last a lifetime. But there are problems. The problems is when they do... This, this is the styrofoam that's behind the stucco. And then they have a fiberglass mesh, and then they stucco over that fiberglass mesh with a, 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 a specific paint mix cement. And it works, but the biggest problem is these things go bad, the corners, right here. You can see how the corners crack away, and the stucco is peeling off here. So this is something you definitely have to take care of. And here's what I suggest. I'm just going to do like a six inches because it's going to be a front. I think probably go an inch down on the other side okay. and then do this. Aces here? Yeah. All right. So look at that. That transition will save that whole stucco. This is to save the stucco work because it's still in good this is super super important yeah if you don't do this you're gonna destroy the whole wall I've seen this happen this turbo poly seal and do a transition halfway over the wall you see here halfway over the wall over the and then paint the rest with with turbo poly seal just like that all the way to the bottom. You may want to do some uh, fleece here as well. You may want to do that, but in this case it looks good. So we're not gonna do it, but this is what I suggest. When you get these stucco parapet walls like this, is to paint it all the way to the bottom. That's the best way to preserve this wall, because if you don't, you're gonna destroy the wall, and you're gonna have to restucco it like this fiberglass and uh, you can preserve it 
And then you coat this roof with silver painting like we did on the other side there. We did it. All right. You paint it with that uh, silver coating. And um, once you painted it, it will keep this turbo poly seal from breaking down with the ultraviolets. That's the way to go. Otherwise, you're going to be in for a new stucco job. All right. This will save you thousands of dollars because you don't have to restucco your building by, by fixing the corner at the very top of the wall. Took this all the way up on one of them. They did. I did not see that. But here's what I'm thinking is happening. You see this? It's wet here. Water's getting in here. Yep. You have to do this. That's more. I mean, that's so much work. Oh, it's loose. This is. Yeah. Cut the fleece in half and then uh, put uh, over okay. because this is going underneath here. Got it. And that's why you see it there. It's not even going over the drip edge. Yeah. Uh, this is a better one. It's fine. This is the big problem. It's all of this is open here. Yeah. yeah. And it's open here. It's, yeah. This is open. Uh, or, it doesn't matter if you don't do anything, it's leaking right now. Take all this off? No, no. Just make a transition. I would do a transition somewhere from half, half this. Okay. Make a transition. Not not all the way. Don't take just this off. Okay. No, you, you just want to prevent this happening. It's peeling up here. Yeah. So you want to make a whole transition onto the metal. Okay. See there? It's leaking there. Yeah. See there? Okay. It's getting underneath there. It's getting underneath there. See there? Yeah. Oh, it's open there. Look. See the, see the water trail there, the dust? The dust? Yep. This is going to be difficult. Make a, make a patch here, right? With the, with the fleece. Just super poly right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because okay. yeah. they have a hole, this book. they got silver coating, so this is okay. Look, there's a hole there. Oh my God. All right. It's leaking here. You put it, you better off put a membrane over this. Yeah? Yeah. Just like that membrane? They covered, they covered, they covered this because it's leaking, it was crumbling. And I see now there, you see that crack there? Look at this. This is all cracking. See? It's a very, it's a, it's a cheap material they put here. So, I would put a membrane here and do a transition. What kind of membrane? I'm sorry. Uh, you get the, cell, the peel and stick uh, from um, um, Liberty. You know, stick peel, right? peel and stick. Oh, peel and stick. Right? Yeah, you put a peel and stick because you don't know how to torch. So you have to peel, peel and stick it in here. And bring it all the way here to the corner, right? Okay. And then you do a transition with your turbo poly seal. Okay. So you start with peel and stick on here, right? Yep. It comes three feet up to there. Okay. So you're going to go all the way to there. So it's three feet wide, right? Okay. Then you're gonna cut it down that corner so you don't go up the wall. Okay. Then you do a turbo poly seal transition. Like I, what we do. Yep. And then you uh, cut another piece of peel and stick because this one's gonna come to here. Mm -hmm. You put, lay it over, there's a little seam. Bring it to there. Right to the wall, okay. And then you cut it and you do the same thing. Okay. All right? Yep. Fast. I'm, I'm trying to help you do it easiest yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. So you guys can do it. All right. This is definitely a hard one to do. You're gonna make a decision where, but this definitely has to be done. It's gonna, not, never gonna last. Okay. This is hard, where do you stop? Right there, I think. Like there, stop there, remove all of this. Okay. Like there. Because this is the hard part to do. But you have to put your, your membrane to there so you can make the transition. Just in general, do you want your member? All right, Glenn. Yeah. We, I think we've we've covered most of it. The Look here. Issues, yeah. Look here. See the membrane was pulling away here. You see this? Yeah. So, if you can, you take a, a pry bar, lift this up, mm -hmm. and put turbo poly seal there. Okay. You don't want this to happen. You see the crack? Yeah. So this is going to crack all the way through, 
And if you lift it, put a spacer there so you can work. Okay. You, you pry it up, put a spacer, put a spacer, do your turbo policy. Got it.